Can I walk like this, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sayama Wadadas. Welcome back to my channel. So, panibagong araw na naman, guys. At panibagong corso for our corso series. So, right now, we're here in Mabalaka, Pampanga. It's very near to my hometown. We decided to feature again a college here in Pampanga. Asa ka Pampanga, syempre. Buri, di ba? Buri, buri, buri me. So, anong course ko today? So, please, for today, you will be taking hospitality management course. Oh, hospitality management. Parang it's similar with the course I wanted to take when I was in college. Actually, my dream was taking tourism management because I wanted to be a ground crew in an airline. Yeah, but magically, I'm a YouTuber now, guys. I don't know what happened, but I love my job. I think hospitality management is perfect for Filipinos because we're known as a hospitable people, diba? Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we are here in Mabalaka City College. It's actually a public school funded by Mabalaka City Government. So I heard it's free tuition fee for uh, Mabalaka residents. Sana all, diba? Right? So I'm planning to move to Mabalaka. So do you want to study again? Ah, uh, that? No. Actually, looking for some students to you know, interview right now. Hi, guys! Hello. What are you doing? Eh? Are you gambling? Ah. <laughs> ano ang course mo? Hospitality money. Oh! My classmates! Classmates! Yeah, all of, all of you? Yes. Okay, so I just wanna ask, uh, why did you choose uh, hospitality management? <laughs> um, it was my childhood dream to be a, to become a chef. Um, oh. and to be a pastry chef. Wow. So that's why I chose HM as my course. Okay, so later 1 p.m. you have class. Hi, it's different class with me. I have 1 p.m. class. Oh. Okay, bye friends. Bye. They're not my classmate pala. Bye. <laughs> Hi friends, can I have a short interview please? You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Like me. Hi. So what's your course here? Ano uh, course mo? Uh, hospitality management. Oh, I see. What do you want to pursue after graduating hospitality management? Uh, bartending. Bartending. So you're good in making alcohol, Ay, mixing alcohol, naman. bartender, bartending. Uh, bartending. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, <dinakan din. laughs> uh, so you're good in mixing drinks like that. Soju bomb. Do you know the Ay, beer and soju? Yeah. <laughs> I think that friend, he's wearing, ano. Excuse me, friend. Do you have class at 1 p.m. later? Or wala? Start na po ngayon. Mag start na po niya. One. Is it good? Oh, you're my classmate. What's your name? Al Prince po. Al Prince. Acosta. Ah, okay. So everyone's wearing like this. Ay, ako lang like this, no? Ay, no, take a barrel mirror, ano, uniform. <laughs> it's okay, I'm still beautiful. Beautiful back up. You know, the ambience here is really beautiful. Do you know, guys, I mentioned this is a public school, but it's so well maintained. Grabe ang ganda, guys. Please look at it. Parang, it looks like the high schools in yung US dramas, US series. Ang ganda, oh. They even have a cafe. Please show them. Look, sana all, they have a cafe. Hello, Podin! Nice Hi, to meet Ms. you! Hi, uh, Christine. Nice to meet you and welcome to Mabalaka City Thank College. You. So you are the Dean of? The Institute of Hospitality and Tourism Management. Oh, so. You actually, you look like a flight attendant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Dean. What class will I be taking today? Okay, so for today, Miss Christy, you'll be taking our major course oh. under the BSHM, which is the Fundamentals in Food Service Operations. Oh, food! Yes? Food is my favorite, so I think I can do it well. <laughs> of course, I think you can do it well. What do students usually pursue after graduating this course? So, for the BSHM, they will be going uh, like pursuing the career of a hotel mm -hmm. especially we're located strategically at the five-star hotels in Clark yeah. so most of them like for example managers of the uh, hotels or um, concierge and 
uh, manager of restaurants and cafe since Pampanga yeah. is the culinary capital of yes. the Philippines. And nowadays it's not just the culinary, like there's so yeah. many caf cafes, oh, Korean cafes. Have you yeah. seen of most of them are yeah. uh, located here at Angeles yes. and Clark. I'm very, very grateful and thankful that I have these people around me that are very expert yeah. on their field. I have an expert when it comes to lodging operations and I have an expert on the system. So we have different types or specialization here at our institute. Can you give advice to students who are dreaming to enroll in hospitality management hmm. or tourism management? Yeah. Um, as a Filipino, we all know that uh, it is innate to us that we are very hospitable. Yeah, I said that a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect course for yes. Filipinos. Yeah. Because uh, we are people loving person. Yeah. So I think if you want to have this experience of having a, um, a good service or providing the love and care of us Filipinos, you should enroll in these programs. I can't wait to be hospitable. <laughs> you are! Yeah, you I am, are! I am. Yeah. Even though I'm Korean, my heart is Pusong Pinay, so I'm a hospitable mm. person too. And we are practicing oh. the Mabuhay gesture. Yeah. So I want you to practice it also. Okay, okay. Just like this, Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Yeah. Welcome to Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, let's attend my first class. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm learning today, but I'm very excited. Hi, friend! Hello! Hey, good afternoon, everyone! Good afternoon, sir! Mabuhay, how are you guys? Hi! Good! <laughs> We're going to discuss today two things. Table setting and waitering skills. So later on, we're going to stretch our uh, muscles and... Excited ba kayo? Yes! Okay. I'm going to teach you to do three basic setups, which is the Russian setup the French setup and the American setup. So you know, sometimes we dine in a restaurant and then we, we find ourself, ourselves uh, having a problem which pork will I use, which spoon will I use, which knife will I use. But for today, we'll uh, sila ng lahat. Okay? So first and foremost, look at ourselves. Am I qualified enough to be part of the food and beverage industry? Yeah. So, <laughs> number one, Let's have a wonderful smile. So, lahat po ba tayo ay merong smile? Because we want... Second, let us look our seatmates. Be familiarized Come with your seatmates because they are the one who are going to help you as you progress along. If you break something, don't worry. That's part of our learning journey. Okay? Part 2 yun. Now, you know how to handle them. Let's name them. Ano bang pangalan ng mga iba't ibang dinnerware natin? First, the biggest one is called a show plate. Show plate. Remember it, ha? Next would be a dinner plate. Dinner plate. So it's basically this used for main dish or entree. Yung right? mga main dish yeah. natin. Or next would be... Yes, very good, no? We have the salad plate. Salad plate. So salad plate is 8 inches in... Diameter. So basically, from next we have the our our favorite. So it's a dessert plate. So dessert plate. Uh, plate. Dessert. Uh, so ten. Eight. Okay. Mind test. If you can still remember so far. Yes, ma'am. What do you call this one? Uh, dessert. Dessert uh, plate. <laughs> yes. So basically, dessert plates used for dessert. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> The smallest fork is called a dessert. Yeah. Example of dessert that we can use as leche flan. Leche flan, yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you. How about spoon? Dessert using spoon. Boko pandan. Ice cream. Yeah, boko pandan. <laughs> ano ba ba? Pudding. Scramble. <laughs> Scramble. <laughs> Scramble. Yeah. I am officially learning how to be a real wife material. Let's do a. Russian setup. First of all, rule of the thumb. Can you check your thumb? Okay. So, we always use rule of the thumb when it comes to setting. So, standardly, meron tayong tinatawag na one inch. Okay. Uh, imagine that your thumb is around one inch. So, I'm using the, the half of my thumb. Okay. Gagamitin nyo siya for the rest of the setup. 
Russian setup or Russian service is also known as a platter service. First, we'll start with. What do you call this one? Okay, imagine this is your table. You're going to look for the middle. Rule of the thumb. Edge of the table, one inch. Nakikita niyo siya? And then I'm going to put my show plate. Yeah, one inch from the edge of the table. Okay. One inch from the edge of the table would be the dinner plate. So lift your dinner plate and then put it at the center. Never ever do this, ha? I don't want to hear any noise on my setup. So always do it gently. But fast. Salad. Next. So, what's, what's next? Dessert. No. We do not set up dessert. Because dessert is always last. Imagine you have 100 packs and then you're going to set it up. So, how hard working in AFNB, di ba? Yes. So, a big respect to our hospitality yes. practitioner. Yes, I no? did not know it's this hard. So, if you really want to work in the hospitality industry, you need to practice your, your, your mind, your body, di ba? You need to move every time you move, tapos you bend. But, salary, is it worth it? Yeah. Yes, especially when you work in a cruise ship, no, or in a fine dining setup. So, it's very, very good. No? Okay. And of course, we always finish it with a good fold from a napkin. So can we do a candle, everyone? Candle? Everyone can do a candle one? Okay, my friends will do it. Candle? <laughs> Can you teach me? I will try. Turuan nyo siya on how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Other word for Russian. Ah, pwede, pwede. Okay. So, triangle. Triangle. Pull. One inch. Parang the thumb. Ah, balik that like this. And then? Yes. As thinly as you can. That. All right, so we have your. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one of my favorite type of service, French service. Plated, meaning to say, the service stuff is from the kitchen and it's holding the plate and then it's going to serve it to your table. So it's very, very easy. Yeah. That's it. Huh? That's it, your friend's service. Okay, let's make a pyramid of our uh, fold. Hey, we're mad. Let's make a pyramid. <laughs> Ta -da. And it's always facing the customer. Ah, like this. American setup is very, very informal because all of the food is in one plate. Main hamburger, dish. Yeah, rice. the hamburger, the pasta. I removed this one because there are some American setup that do not, do not use any show plate. And that's it. That's an American setup. There's no silent pork or dessert or anything like that. Why? Because sabi ko nga, American setup, they start with their fold, and then, going to put it here. And then they will all eat as it is. Now, let's do it. Let's do it, no. Per table, choose your best fighter. <laughs> fighter. Okay. It's okay. I can do this. Okay. So again, for 45 seconds. Can we do a French setup? So imagine you're in a restaurant. Yeah. Cookerwares. 
One inch, one inch. One. Okay. Last five seconds. Your napkin should be also done. Just your napkin. Pyramid. Okay. Pyramid. You can do your pyramid. No, no, no. You can do candle. 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 <laughs> hey! I think it's a candle! Yes! Okay, okay! So, palakpakan natin, everyone. Now, let's go transition. One of the hardest skills that you can um, learn in, in the hospitality is the waitering skills. Waitering! When we serve, when we say serve, we serve food or any uh, utensils with our left. We bust, when you say bust or bust out, we remove the soil dishes using our right. So when we serve, we always say something. You do not just... Nah, you do not do that. So when you serve something, excuse me ma'am, here's your plate of pasta. Oh, <laughs> very small. Eh? Very small, no? If you can see some of the waiter that we're doing it, so they are doing this one. Ah, Okay? Some are doing this one, but because we're just new in this industry, we always follow the standard. 45 degrees on your shoulder level. Sige, let's try. <laughs> okay, we're going to practice it and then make sure it's a uh, shoulder level. And then make sure it's not wobbly. Yeah. So you can pick your glass. Two is enough, or make it three? three. <laughs> I say two. Two, okay. Ooh. Okay. So fill it, make sure that's not wobbly, yeah. and you could feel that it's balanced. Stable. Stable. Just walk in a normal way. Okay. Can I walk like this, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sir, here's your water. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's how you do it. Thank you, friends. So now, after our class, we're gonna eat. That's the most exciting part. Okay, so you introduce yourself. What's your name? I'm They're Jessica. Me? She's Jessica. She's my new friend from the uh, class a while ago. And this is Gina. <laughs> They're still shy, guys. Because <laughs> I'm very extrovert. You can see it, right? Yup. Yeah. Ang galing niyo po kanina. Ah, talaga? Ito? Ganun? <laughs> Confidence is the key. But, I, I know, I have a question. Usually, yung mga students dito, where do they eat lunch? There's so many canteen there. Ah, mga tambay. Uy, may mga tambay. After oh. class. After class, yung tambay there. Yes. And then you date date like that. <laughs> May joke ka? No. Hey, oh we go. Ay, oh, oh, <laughs> parang meron ah. The, that's cheese stick, no? Yeah. Cheese stick. To roll. I want to roll. I want it to roll. It's been so long I didn't eat to roll. Before we chika girls, let's eat muna. Yes. Kasi gutom na ako. After class, it's always so hungry. Hmm. <laughs> Their dynamite is good. Uh, what's your dream after? Uh, Mag-work po sa cruise ship. Cruise ship. Ikaw? Same lang. Mm. And makapunta rin sa ibang mga places. Mm. Do you agree na some people has like stereo stereotype against waitering, catering? Sometimes they look down, di ba? Do you agree? Actually, oh yes. Um, dami nagsasabi na puro luto-luto lang din sila ganun mm. yung course namin. Yeah. Pero hindi nila alam, mas, ma mas mahirap kaysa sa ano. Kasi more on skills nga din yung course namin. And, uh, ano, mabibigat din din saan. Tapos, ginag parang iniisip lang nila na more on luto-luto lang sila ganyan. Kain, luto, ganun lang. That's so sad. Kasi, ako today, I experienced, di ba? I experienced doing the plating and everything. It's hard. It's really skill. Like, you really need a skill for that job. Ikaw, what do you think? Like, do you think some people really look down on your major like that? On the things yes. you do? Lalo na if kapag na sa social media, oh. marami po talagang sinasabing 
basic lang po itong course namin. Ah. Pero hindi po nila alam. Pati po sa communication skills, kailangan marunong ka talaga. True. And the... Uh, in the service mind, no? Yes. The service mind. You have to serve people. That's so yes. tiring. Confidence. Mm. Lalo na some people are sometimes really rude these days. It must be hard, talaga. Pero mat matagal ko nang napapanood yung... Ah, okay. May last ko napanood, yes. Na last ko napanood yung kasama mo yung two friends nung... Oh na my god, she watched my latest <laughs> vlog! And she didn't even tell me that! Nakad na yun siya ako. Basta na interesting po kasi talaga na nag, nandito kayo na nagtatagalog na kayo na Korea. Yeah. I don't know yung pinakauna ko yata or parang napadaan lang din sa feed ko yung nasa Angeles kayo ng Toto Beach. Yeah! I love Toto Beach. Yeah. Do you go there? Yeah, yeah I see. love it. It's so funny how she told me she's the introvert and she's yeah. the most madaldal here right now. <laughs> so guys, I'm done with my class today and... All I can say is I really enjoyed. The feeling I have right now, I can't describe because I feel ashamed at the same time. I really have this feeling of appreciation. Uh, when I look back to my past, I think I never appreciated the restaurant workers who are serving us. But now that I experience with my own body, wow, it's really a hard job. I think I'm gonna be a good waitress. Like, did you see me walking a while ago like that, guys? That's only for professionals, yeah. So, if I quit YouTube, I'm just gonna ride a cruise ship and work there na lang to travel the world. Anyways, I had so much fun today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next class. Bye-bye! Oh, and don't forget to recommend me what kind of courses you want me to feature. Bye-bye!